Well, hello there, my favorite students. Look where we are, stuck at home, not at school. I miss you guys. Let's talk a little art history. In the early 1900s, a really exciting thing was happening in the art world. You see, everybody really liked naturalist art and um, the artists of the Renaissance like uh, Michelangelo and they liked the Mona Lisa and they liked Rembrandt and, and all of these artists that were painting realistic things. Well, the artists in the early 1900s were starting all kinds of new movements like Cubism and modernism and expressionism and they were in search of a new beauty and it was a lot of fun but then something crazy happened world war one and the artists did not like it it kind of made them feel like what are we doing why are we trying to find all of these new expressive ways to express beauty when really the world is just full of ugliness and it's um, a terrible place um, and so a group of artists got together and uh, they created a movement called Dada Art. And this was kind of in revolt to World War I. And it was kind of an anti-art movement. Uh, and people didn't like it. And that's exactly what the Dada artists wanted. They did not want people to like it. It was a revolt, it was kind of a uh, spit in the face of art and um, they created all kinds of works that made people upset and it made it difficult to understand art. Um, the Dada art movement was composed of literary artists, musicians, performers, and visual artists. Uh, literary artists did things like cutting words out of newspaper and putting them in a bag and randomly drawing out words to create poetry. Uh, musicians created noise concerts and performing artists dressed up in cardboard tubes and recited gibberish. Well, one of the most famous visual artists, his name was Marcel Duchamp, and uh, one of his most famous pieces in the Dada movement was one that was a urinal. He bought a urinal, a white porcelain urinal, from a hardware store turned it sideways and signed someone else's name on it and called it Fountain. Um, he also bought a shovel from a hardware store and titled it In Advance of a Broken Arm and put that in an exhibition um, and said this is art. Um, he did other things like um, taking a bicycle wheel, attaching it to a wooden stool um, and these sculptures were called Ready Maids. Pretty fitting. Um, we're going to create a sculpture kind of in revolt to the terrible um, pandemic that we're all experiencing right now. Um, and the sculptures we're going to make are a little more along the lines of surreal artists uh, like these. create our own found object sculptures using things that we find around the house or if you go on a walk and things you find on a walk. Um, anything you find you can create into a found object sculpture. You can attach them together so they're permanently attached. You can make it so they can be taken apart later and you can still use the items. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, do this in any way you want. I would only ask that you express kind of what you're going through in this pandemic. Um, we're creating found object sculptures. I'm going to do this project with you, so I'll be right back and I'll show you how I constructed my own uh, sculpture. I'll put that in a, in a video a little bit later. So have fun with this project. See you soon.